Hey YouTube, so I've got a quick point regarding product reviews and product recommendations and that is simply if you haven't looked at competitors products you ha and you haven't taken the time to research them and see how your product stacks up, don't talk about how amazing your product is and certainly don't say your product's the best. No matter how happy you are with it and no matter how much it exceeds your expectations. So, for example, um, this little handy cam I've got here, um, I can talk about uh, if I hadn't used a GoPro or um, any of the other competitor products, I could certainly talk about this product specs. I could certainly talk about uh, you know, my feelings towards the product. I could talk about its flaws. I could talk about um, it being easier to use than I expected and that kind of thing. But I can't say it's a good handy cam unless I've actually looked at GoPros and other competitors and actually see how this thing stacks up. If I haven't used those products and I don't know anything about them, for all I know, they could be, you know, they could be ten times better than this thing. So, yeah, little, um, just a little point. I see people doing this quite a lot, especially within the martial arts and fitness community, and, you know, I'm probably guilty of doing this in the past, and most of you probably are as well. But it's a little something. It's a little something to be aware of. Uh, so of course this applies to workout programs, diets. It applies to uh, exercise equipment. <laughs> One of the most guilty parties I've seen for this are the katana fanboys. Uh, they'll talk about how um, how the katana is the best sword ever made, and they know this because they've used a katana. And oh my god, it chopped through these watermelons like a hot knife through butter. When in actual, in actuality, there's a good reason people didn't walk around with armour like this. Absolutely any sort of decent quality can cut through them. Nothing against katanas, but they are really overhyped by people who have used katanas, but have no experience of any other sword, and any decent sword is going to perform really, really well. So. Being impressed with it cutting through uh, watermelons and stuff like that uh, doesn't really doesn't really say anything. So yeah, that's about all I've got to say. Uh, this video was inspired by New Sensei's video talking about the Samic Sage bow. Um, he ba basically. Uh, lots of noobs will buy the Samic Sage bow because they've been recommended the bow by other noobs who've bought the bow, been really impressed with it and think that that bow's just simply the bee's knees when, yeah, in, in reality, any um, any beginner recurve bow is probably going to perform just as well, really. So, uh, that's about all I've got to say. Uh, check out the link to New Sensei's uh, video in the description box, and tell him I sent, it, sent you. So, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.